morning from St. Thomas Episcopal Church and School in San Antonio, Texas, and welcome to morning prayer for the morning of Friday, June the 14th. Today, let's pray for peace on earth, and let's pray for the peace of Jerusalem. In the Anglican Communion today, we're praying for the Diocese of Free State in the Anglican Church of Southern Africa. And in our own diocese this week, we're praying for St. Barnabas in Fredericksburg and St. Boniface in Comfort. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for David, our bishop, and for Mike and Allie, our priests. And as always, from wherever you are, please bring your own concerns, intentions, and thanksgivings to prayer this morning. So we're going to start on page 78. Send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. And on page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. And on page 82, let's say the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Our psalm today is Psalm 69, and that's on page 679. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen up to my neck. I am sinking in deep mire. There is no firm ground for my feet. I have come into deep waters, and the torrent washes over me. I have grown weary with my crying. My throat is inflamed. My eyes have failed from looking for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. My lying foes who would destroy me are mighty. Must I then give back what I never stole? O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my faults are not hidden from you. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O God of Israel. Surely, for your sake have I suffered reproach, and shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my own kindred, an alien to my mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. I humbled myself with fasting, but that was turned to my reproach. I put on sackcloth also and became a byword among them. Those who sit at the gate murmur against me, and the drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, this is my prayer to you at the time you have set, O Lord. In your great mercy, O God, answer me with your unfailing help. Save me from the mire, do not let me sink. Let me be rescued from those who hate me out and out of the deep waters. Let not the torrent of waters wash over me, neither let the deep swallow me up. Do not let the pit shut its mouth upon me. Answer me, O Lord, for your love is kind. 
in your great compassion, turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant. Be swift and answer me, for I am in distress. Draw near to me and redeem me. Because of my enemies, deliver me. You know my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all in your sight. Reproach has broken my heart, and it cannot be healed. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For comforters, but I could find no one. They gave me gall to eat. When I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let the table before them be a trap, and their sacred feasts a snare. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, and give them continual trembling in their loins. Pour out your indignation upon them, and let the fierceness of your anger overtake them. Let their camp be desolate, and let there be none to dwell in their tents, for they persecute him whom you have stricken, and add to the pain of those whom you have pierced. Lay to their charge guilt upon guilt, and let them not receive your vindication. Let them be wiped out of the book of the living, and not be written among the righteous. As for me, I am afflicted and in pain. Your help, O God, will lift me up on high. I will praise the name of God in song. I will proclaim his greatness with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an offering of oxen, more than bullocks with horns and hoofs. The afflicted shall see and be glad. You who seek God, your heart shall live. For the Lord listens to the needy, and his prisoners he does not despise. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and all that moves in them. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall live there and have it in possession. The children of his servants will inherit it, and those who love his name will dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's go to our readings. In the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, we are going to finish up chapter 5 and go into chapter 6. So we're going to read um, from chapter 5, verse 25, and we're going to go through chapter 6, verse 10. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, competing against one another, envying one another. My friends, if anyone is detected in a transgression, you who have received the Spirit should restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. Take care that you yourselves are not tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. For if those who are nothing think they are something, they deceive themselves. All must test their own work. Then that work, rather than their neighbor's work, will become a cause for pride. For all must carry their own loads. Those who are taught the word must share in all good things with their teacher. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For you reap whatever you sow. If you sow to your own flesh, you will reap corruption from the flesh. But if you sow to the Spirit, you will reap eternal life from the Spirit. So let us not grow weary in doing what is right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. So then, whenever we have an opportunity, let us work for the good of all, and especially for those of the family of faith. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's go to our first canticle, which is the second song of Isaiah on page 86. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts, and let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed, 
and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And in our Gospel reading for today, in the Gospel of St. Matthew, we are going to finish up chapter 16. We are going to begin with verse 21 and go through verse 28. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and undergo great suffering at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid it, Lord, this must never happen to you. But Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay everyone for what has been done. Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second canticle today is or the Song to the Lamb on page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. And on page 96, let's say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And now let's pray together the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And on page 97, let's say Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our collect for today is the collect for proper five, and that's on page 229. O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant that by your inspiration we may think those things that are right, and by your merciful guiding may do them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. And on page 99, the Collect for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And on page 100, our prayer for mission. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And on page 102, the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let's take a few moments for reflection. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.